This message is from Professor This Hanjay Singha about the Center for Accurate and Faster Diagnosis of Cancer at the Medical Faculty of University of Colombo. Dear all, this is a unique state-of-the-art facility that is being set up at the Department of Pathology of University of Colombo to serve all provinces of Sri Lanka. It is called CDARC, Center for Diagnosis and Research in Cancer. Please refer to the attached concept paper for information. In a nutshell, the following are some pertinent features, some useful information as well. 1. In our body, we can get various situations that could be suspected as cancers. Some could be dormant, while others could be real cancer situations. 2. Therefore, it is important to first identify whether it is harmless or could be a real cancer situation. 3. If it is a cancer situation, it is very important to understand the true nature of the disease. For example, the cancer types are identified by the pathologists. One of the main problems is that under microscope observations, sometimes, it is hard to pinpoint the exact type of cancer. 4. For example, some cancers associated with lymph nodes may be different types. Let's say that there are two types A and B. The treatments for A and B can be very different. If misdiagnosed, it will become evident only when the patient is not responding to the treatment. However, by that time, even if the correct treatment is given, there could be a very slim chance for the patient to recover. 5. In such situations, there are more advanced methods where a team of experienced pathologists could get together and engage in diagnosis simultaneously. This is the type of advanced facility that is being set up at the Department of Pathology of University of Colombo. 6. Such advanced facilities allow further collaboration with pathologists in foreign countries in some difficult cases using Zoom-based real-time sharing of images. 7. Deep research initiated by senior professor, Chandu De Silva, chair of pathology, with head, Department of Pathology, senior professor Delani Lokuheti utilizing the research grants from University of Colombo, National Research Council, etc., have enabled rapid advances. The government of Sri Lanka followed up this pioneering work by allocating over 100 million rupees for upgrading of the equipment to be state-of-the-art. Dr. Kanish Karunarad, a leading gynecologic oncology surgeon, is also directly involved in this project. He was the former director of Apeksha Cancer Hospital, Maharagama from 2010 onwards for a few years. 8. The Department of Pathology of University of Colombo is on the first floor of a 80-year-old four-story building, from 1942 onwards underscore. For this state-of-the-art unit, for large rooms and a training center have been earmarked. However, to create laboratories as per ISO 15189 standards, there is a need for complete refurbishment of this 80-year-old facility. 9. This process has already happened to an appreciable level. The total estimate of refurbishment of a space of about 2,000 square feet of laboratory up to standards stipulated internationally is 37 million rupees. So far, 21.5 million rupees has been raised and the refurbishment of the training center and two laboratory rooms are almost complete. 10. The remaining two laboratory spaces will cost another 15.5 million rupees at current prices. This is the amount that these pioneering consultants are hoping to raise as donations for this project of national importance and benefit. The Civil Engineering Sectional Committee, CESC, of the Institution of Engineers of Sri Lanka, IESL, under the leadership of ENG Kamala Gunawardain, Chairman of CESC for the session 2022-23 is keen to assist this worthy project with the help of many philanthropists. All your generous contributions will be channeled via a bank account under the purview of IESL, directly under the Council of IESL. The account details can be given upon request. Therefore, your generous contributions are most welcome. Professor Vishan J. Singha Senior Professor Department of Civil Engineering University of Marachua Here are some additional information. A. Once operational, 
This facility will be available for all the hospitals treating cancer patients in Sri Lanka since the samples can be referred to this state-of-the-art facility when doubtful. B. This is a unique facility. No private hospital in Sri Lanka has such a facility. The only option currently for private hospitals is to refer the samples to a foreign laboratory like one in Singapore. C. This is time-consuming and hence could place the patient in danger. Therefore, the services of this state-of-the-art facility will serve all Sri Lankans irrespective of their wealth. E. Department of Pathology of University of Colombo has nearly 12 doctors specialized in pathology, lecturers, senior lecturers, professors, and senior professors. Hence, this department has a very good human resource base to provide an efficient service via the SUDARC, Center for Diagnosis and Research in Cancer. Thank you.